I never thought I'd be saying this, but I support people's decision to put people, you know what I'm saying, in friend zones, man. I, I, I support the decision. Any homegirl that I got to put me in a friend zone, man, we good. I text them, call them, or whatever. Hey, what's up? How you doing? And vice versa. Same thing if I put a girl in a friend zone, I, I'm, I'm hoping she'll still call and text me and be like, hey, what's up? How you doing? Whatever, whatever. Like, I don't mind hanging out with you. I don't mind chilling, chilling with you. None of that, man. Like, back then, it was a big deal to me. Now, I'm just like, bro, it's whatever. Okay, I'm in a friend zone. All right, cool. Say no more. With that being said, here's a side note, y'all. To all the ladies putting guys in friend zone, Zone just so you can figure out what you're trying to do or where you're trying to go with it. Uh, ma ma matter of fact, nah, fellas too, ladies and fellas, because all of us do this nonsense, man. It makes no sense. Whether it's because you don't want to be alone or you waiting to see if you're going to get back with your ex or something like that, stop it, man. You got to stop doing that. As I said earlier, when you like someone so much, you don't get the hint sometimes. Fellas, I know how hard it is, y'all boys. Believe me, I know. You got a homegirl that got by three kids, ain't it? And she been trying to slide on you for years. But you been ducking and dodging her ass ever since. You probably thinking to yourself, Man, I ain't about to be taking care of some of another man's kids. If she don't take her ass on someone, cuz. Constantly ignoring her calls. Leaving her text messages on red. But it's a new year. And you know that it's tax season coming. Oh yeah. Tax season right around the corner. She got three kids. She about to get at least about a good four, five sacks. Easy. You hit up that same girl you been ducking and dodging on some. Hey yo, I figure I'll stop playing around and make this official with you, baby. What's up? Your boy been feeling you for them from the jump. Let me stop playing with you. Fellas, I'ma stop it right there, man. You you dead ass wrong for that cub. And I mean that, you dead ass wrong. Any guy that does anything like that, I can never respect you. I know I said in my first upload, in my introduction video, I said I wasn't gonna be cursed or anything like that, but any grown ass man that takes income tax money away from a single mother, you a straight up bitch to me, bro. You a straight up bitch. And I, I swear to God, I mean that in the most offensive way. Y'all already know, man, I, I ain't on that acting tough or none of that, bro. That, that, that's not my style, that's not who I am. But like, I, I mean what I say. Anybody that feel any type of way, you more than welcome to leave a comment or hit me up on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. Or if you know me personally, you're more than welcome to text my phone, call me or approach me and voice your concerns about what I just said. I'll be more than willing to have a conversation with you. And I say that because I got a lot of homeboys, you know what I'm saying? Some I'm cool with, some that I'm not, that I grew up with back in Shallow Side. They used to use girls that had kids, you know what I'm saying, for their income tax money around this time. And they used to joke about it like it was funny. Oh yeah, it's tax season coming. Let me go ahead and hit up this girl that got my four or five kids. Let me tell her I'll miss her. Nah, bro. You a straight up punk with me, bro, if you do something like that, bro. For real. Like, you literally taking food out of her kid's mouth. And I'm talking to the baby mamas that's actually out here, you know what I'm saying, taking, using that income tax money for their kids. I ain't talking about, you know, the baby mamas that's out here, you know, buying that Brazilian Yaki Jet Black number 43 with the burgundy trim weave. I ain't talking about y'all. Y'all good. We all, nah. Ladies, I know how hard it is, ladies. Believe me, I know. You got a guy that's been chasing you since high school, huh? And you have absolutely no interest in him whatsoever. But he makes good money. Every time you see him, you get turned off because of his body odor. But he makes good money. You be lonely at night wanting somebody to come through and rub on your little booty. Knowing that one, you ain't got ass like that, but you still want somebody to come and grip that little nub you got back there. You be wanting anybody to rub you down. Anybody. Except him. But he makes good money. Eventually, you hit him up on some. Hey, I've been thinking about you. No, you haven't. I wanted us to go out and do something. Man, you and I both know you ain't even got that man number saved in your phone, man. You called him through the message thread because he always texts you every day. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how was work? Good morning, beautiful. You figure you give him a shot because, you know what I'm saying, they done cut your hours at your job, your car payment due next week, you got your insurance and rent and all the other bills coming up. So now all of a sudden you want to give him a shot. Now ladies, this particular story may not pertain to you, but the message still applies. Don't be one of them females only using that one guy that's been in the friend zone, you know what I'm saying, for money, for a come up. Don't be one of them females. Don't use him to get back up on your feet and then clear it, man. Like, that's flaw. I understand, you know, life comes at you fast. Sometimes you got to make a decision. I understand, you know, I know how it is. I get it, man. I get it. But as I said in my side piece video, I'm a firm believer in karma. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's real. Yeah, you're going to use her to pay for your car note. But then something crazy going to happen. Like, you're going to crash your car or somebody hit you or something like that. I'm not wishing none of that nonsense on you. I'm just saying, like, like this, this is how karma works. I had a homegirl that will always use guys for, like, random things. Man, she had multiple guys pay for this, pay for that. Like it was crazy, bro. I used to tell her, I'm like, bro, stop using these guys for for money and this, that, a third. Man, she ain't never listen to me. She had one guy pay for a car note, one guy pay for her car insurance, one guy pay for a phone bill, one guy that paid, put money on her light bill. Like it was crazy, bro. 
Then one day she driving home or whatever and she crashed into somebody totaling her car and everything. It was her fault and ended up getting a short end of the stick, man. Like that's karma, bro. Like that's how it works. Like it never fails, bro. I swear it never fails. The moral of the story is this, y'all. Friend zones can be a good thing in some cases, but it can be bad in others. What I mean by that is people use it as a weapon in some cases. But like in my opinion, I feel like a friend zone is like a double-edged sword, man. Because sometimes it works out in your favor and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it can be used against you. But if you use it in the right way, it may have some good results in the end. In life, man, like you gotta, you gotta learn how to handle rejections, y'all. You gotta learn how to handle rejections, please. It's gonna happen, that's a part of life. Because it's not gonna be the first or the last time you get rejected. If you want to be friends or be in a friend zone with the opposite sex, then go for it, man. I support y'all decision. I wish y'all the best. There's nothing wrong with a female and a male friendship. Nothing wrong with that. I have a few homegirls that I'm real cool with, you know what I'm saying, and we never did anything sexual, and we never tried to do anything sexual. I really feel like society is trying to make it seem like, oh, if she ain't giving them panties up, me and her can't chill. Or, if he ain't putting money in my hands, we ain't friends. Like, nah, bro, get out of here. That's dumb as hell in my opinion, man. But with that being said, if you want someone and they don't want you, it's up to you to stay or go. That's completely your decision. Don't let anyone make you feel like you're being forced to remain friends with someone when you want something more. And that goes for anything, man, whether it's a relationship, whether it's something sexual, I don't care what it is. Don't let somebody try to stop you from doing what you want to do. If you want to be with someone and they don't want to be with you, it's your choice to either stay friends with them or keep them moving. If you just want to have sex with someone and that's it and they not feeling you, it's either you can stay friends with them or keep it moving. And that goes for anything sexual, man, like like it happens. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying, you see someone and all you want is sex from them. You know, it, it happens. We all grown. We know how it is. But just let that be known. And if they cool with it, you good. Go for it. You straight. Use protection. But if they not, the best thing I can say is to keep it moving, man. Or stay if you want and hope that maybe one day he or she gonna give it up to you. I, I mean, I don't know. You know, e either way, I wish you the best on that. You know, good luck. But anyway, y'all, comment down below and let me know what's, what's up. Cause did I hit the nail on the head or was this a complete swing and a miss? Let me know how y'all feel about friend zones, man, or being in one. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or putting someone in one. Talk to me. Let me know what's up. Y'all be scared to comment. I don't know why. Also, tell me about people using other people that they have no interest in for personal gains. Like for money or for whatever. And finally, do you think it's possible? to make it out of a friend zone if you are in one tell me why or why not i can't wait to read it y'all thanks for watching please 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 if you haven't hit that subscribe button also too hit that bell symbol on the side so anytime i make an upload the notification will pop up and alert you also too hit that like and share i look forward to reading all y'all comments if any so until next time y'all be safe for her cuz bruh y'all know my black ass got stories for days man so let's get into story mode y'all ready so some years ago in my previous college, uh, before I graduated, I, I became a part-time employee at the library. I was working at the front desk or whatever, right? So this girl comes up and she's like, Finish line, I ran past it. So egotistic, so cocky, so conceited, cause I'm better.